Hello everybody. This is a bit of a departure for me. I'm going to do an unboxing. I've got my Pixelator project that I backed on Kickstarter back in 2018. It's put together by a guy named Hamish Gill who lives in Worcester in the UK. He runs a great uh, photography blog called 35mmc.com. Uh, this thing was uh, successfully funded in July on July 18, 2018, after uh, being launched in uh, June of the same year. Uh, they met their original goal of the project in less than 24 hours. And uh, the poor guy, he ran into every kind of problem you can imagine. And then when things were just finally coming together, uh, the coronavirus hit. But he hung in there, kept everybody updated, and I got it. I don't think I've ever gotten royal mail before. I feel pretty fancy. Pixelator is a device to aid in digitizing film and transparencies. Um, so let's get to it. So here's the inner box. Shows the different configurations for it. I know you agonized about this to get the instructions simple enough to just have them on the box. Um, this gizmo can digitize 35 millimeter film, uh, 120, 620, 220, uh, anything about that size, up to 4 by 5. So Got a nice professional looking getting started guide. A little thank you card for the Kickstarter backers. And here is the beast itself. Let's see what else we got in the box. We got the little legs for propping it up. And then different gate pieces and then this is support cardboard so from what I've read and this did change quite a bit um, from the original project you put your film in here and put the front on it let's see if I can get this right I know he agonized about the tolerances of the diffuser fit as well and then depending on what kind of film you're using and it's nice they're well labeled this is 120T so that would be the top gate for 120 film and I am upside down so the tab sticking out is the top let's see if we can find 120B 120B guys ended up being press fit. The original design had some metal pins that he wanted to change to rubber but you know over the course of actually getting the thing manufacturable it changed a lot. So anyway there's the film gate if you were going to scan 120. You can use a copy stand, uh, put it on a tablet, uh, proper light for you know looking at your uh, slides or going over your negatives. And then, I guess, let's see if I can figure out how the feet go in. There's a little bit of a funk on the tolerance, unless these have left and right. Maybe that was the trick. So, if you're just going to use window light or, uh, you know, a lamp or something, You've got your negative or your slide there, drop it up, take some pictures. So I'm going to play with it a little bit and so that I have some results to show you. I'll see you then.